What if I told you we didn't win conference? What if I told you we didn't win 20 games? But in eight days, 14 men will show a community what it means to be relentless. The team was excited uh, with go winning 19 games in 2015-16 and set their sights on something bigger. They wanted to make a deep tournament run. Well, we ended last year with 19 wins, so it set the bar really high for us. It's something we've been kind of working towards our whole life, so we had high expectations going into the season and what we could accomplish together. Our expectations were set pretty high after winning two straight conference titles and then winning 19 games last season, so people expected us to do big things this season as we're coming in as seniors. The gym was usually open from like 7 to around noonish, so we did a lot of open gym, a lot of drill work in there. Uh, in the off season, we went to a lot of uh, big summer league tournaments and played a lot of high end teams. And uh, the hours we spent in the gym at uh, open gym really helped us. We felt that we could play better than we were playing. Our record going into Christmas included a loss at home to the Dells and at Holman, both games that we felt we were in a position to win but couldn't win. Following Christmas, we had a tough conference loss against Adams, what put our conference chances in jeopardy. Following the conference loss to Adams, we talked a lot about how we were playing. Statistics from 2016-17 were almost identical, yet we had more losses. What was the difference? Us as seniors kind of got together. We knew this was our last run that we had and kind of figured out what we needed to accomplish, work together, everyone play their role, and we need to be able to win then that way. The team was sitting at 15 and seven following the regular season, but they felt they had a lot to prove. As they prepared for Westby, the team had one of their best weeks of practice. They were sharp, they were focused, they executed extremely well. The attitudes were running extremely high to get ready to beat a team that we felt we could beat, but hadn't had an opportunity to show that we could beat a team like them throughout the season. Even though we had a great week of practice, the Westby game did not start out as we planned. Facing a 14-0 deficit, they did not bat an eye. One of the strengths that this team has exhibited in this year and in past years is the ability to handle adversity with a flourish. They never got frustrated. They never showed up that they were upset. All they did was play the next play. They crawled back into the game with excellent offense, excellent perimeter shooting, and consistent defense. They forced the game into overtime late with excellent possessions down the stretch. Exciting game this evening in West Speed. Norseman hosting Mostyn. We pick it right up in overtime. Mostyn gets on the board first. Joe Bauer to Taryn Hall, layup, and they go up two. Westby answers. Eric Lubke drives baseline and lays it in. Ties the ball game back up. Back and forth. Here it's Mostyn's turn. Bauer, Keenan Fassett for the lay-in. They're back up by two. Golden Eagles then find a little separation. Mitchell Birch hitting a wide open three and they lead by five. Westby misses a three at the buzzer, 74-71. Bloomer wins the other game in that regional by two as Black River Falls gives them all they can handle. Boston traveled to the top seed Bloomer Blackhawks and they began the game much better than they did against Westby. They were sound defensively and they executed at a high end using many screens that forced Mostyn to play very tough defense all game. It was a, it's a really fun environment. It was a really small gym, packed full of our fans. We traveled really well. It was really loud and uh, it was a really fun experience. It uh, solidified us as being the great team that we knew that we were. Uh, beating Bloomer in the regional finals is probably the most exciting thing that's ever happened in part of Mostyn basketball. Holding up the plaque at the end of the game was incredible. It was an incredible feeling, and hopefully we have more of that in the finals. This incredible team effort led to Boston's first regional championship in 41 years. Well, the Cinderella from our area has to be Boston. The five seed 
winning two games on the road on their way to a regional championship, an overtime victory at Westby, and then taking out top-seeded Bloomer. Uh, the gym was packed. Uh, the environment's crazy, and our fans were super loud, and the outcome was even better. Following the huge regional championship victory on Saturday night, the Golden Eagle boys were, a, were allowed a one-day rest before they started their three-day preparation for the GET Red Hawks to be played at Osseo Fairchild High School in the sectional semifinal. GET played five guards, all who could shoot threes and all could, who, who could work off the dribble. Team defense would be at a premium to handle this high-octane ex, high explosive offense. This team had been to state the previous year and would be playing to try to get to their third consecutive sectional final. The Golden Eagles came out firing at Osseo Fairchild High School, led by Mitchell Birch's three-pointer to get them on the board. They went up 9-2 to two and showed GET that they were there to play. Shortly after, GET regained their footing and climbed ahead of the Golden Eagles by as much as 12 points in the first half before going into halftime up nine. Hall led the Golden Eagles with 37 points, including 14 of the final 15, as the Golden Eagles surged ahead and took a lead late in the game. Hall's best outing of the year couldn't come at a better time, as his 37 points was his season high. Hall's 37 points included the points that allowed him to become the Mauston High School's all-time leading scorer. And it was all Taryn Hall down the stretch, and Mauston has a 62-59 lead. GET, one final chance. They're down by three with the ball. Shot at the buzzer. Does not go. Mauston wins by three, 68-65, as they move on to face Prescott on Saturday. We don't think we're the Cinderella team. We knew that our entire regional and sectional was pretty competitive, probably even all around. So. There was no doubt, we didn't have any doubts that we couldn't win any of the games going in. Even though we lost, these memories with my brothers will last forever.